Recently, we had the chance to record a full orchestra for some of the music in Asian mythology. We'd like to walk you through some of the steps that it takes to get from an idea to a finished product. The first part of the process was to create a mock-up of the finished music. Keyboards and samplers were used to simulate the orchestra that would later re-record the tracks. The demos were sent to an orchestrator named Stan Lepard. His job on the project was to translate our ideas into written music for the performers in the orchestra and choir. Once this phase of the process was completed, we flew to Seattle to attend the session. After a day of recording and a day of mixing, the music was finished. What follows are a couple of examples of some of the specific points that we wanted to address with these tracks. It's been really important to us to give the game a strong, identifiable main theme. There's so many movies that are instantly recognizable just by hearing the first few notes, and we wanted to have that same kind of effect. One way to do that is to keep things simple. And so to keep things simple for Age of Mythology, I started with just one instrument. I came to work one morning with a pretty vague idea of what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted a melody that was simple and hummable, and I also knew that I would have time to fill in a lot of the gaps later. So I started with just a simple piano sound and came up with this. Once I had the melody worked out, I was able to build up the rest of the parts to where it was something closer to what the orchestra will actually play when it's recorded. This is an important piece of music for us because it gets used in so many ways. Not only does it appear at the beginning of the game, but it also gets attached to things like this marketing trailer. The trick there is to make sure that the music matches up with the visuals. This song is the one you hear when you lose the game. With this piece, I wanted to try something different and focus more on dynamics and emotion as opposed to melody. To do that, I uh, experimented with the effects that the orchestra and the choir could produce. One of the effects I wanted to try with the choir was have them whisper two Greek words, Thanatos and Dialusis, starting out with two voices on either side of the stereo field and adding more and more voices to the end of the song. For the demo, uh, to get this effect, I had Stephen Rippey and Chris Rippey help me out and record the whispering themselves and added it to the track. It sounds something like this. Also, I wanted to have the horns blow through their instruments and finger notes without actually making a pitch.
think it'll work. It sounds it sounds better than the demo. It does. It does.